Impact. Funders, policymakers, and program managers are constantly looking for ways to achieve it. But everyone has questions. How do I know what will work? Are current programs working? How could they work better? To answer these questions, some advocate for impact evaluations using randomized control trials. Others for lean testing, qualitative feedback, or other forms of experimentation. But which method is right? They all are. The key is getting the right feedback at the right time. Let's say you're implementing a program to train teachers to use a new technology in the classroom to improve student reading scores. To be successful, teachers need to understand how to use the technology. They need to incorporate it into their teaching. They need to become more effective due to the technology and student learning needs to improve. So, you create a teacher training program and conduct an RCT. But reading scores don't improve. You know you haven't achieved your outcome. What you don't know is why. Now let's redesign the program using evaluation and adaptive learning techniques to validate key steps in your theory of change before we measure impact. In the early design stage, you have questions and assumptions about how to train teachers. So you use lean testing and learn from a simple version of the training on just a few teachers. Did the teachers show up? Are they engaged in the program? If these basic elements of the program aren't working, you go back to the drawing board. On the other hand, if the training goes well, you can conduct a pilot with more teachers and collect more data. If results are promising, a nimble RCT can help you assess the program more rigorously, comparing lessons given by teachers who received training to lessons of teachers who didn't. Are the trained teachers using the technology correctly? Are their lessons more effective? If not, you adjust and assess the program again. If you're getting the results you expected, you conduct a full RCT to measure final outcomes and see whether student reading is improving. This time, your evidence shows that student reading scores in the program are 25% higher than students who didn't participate. Based on those results, you scale up, conducting routine monitoring to ensure your program continues to achieve impact. There are many different evaluation and adaptive learning approaches to choose from, so here's a framework to help you. When there's a lot of uncertainty about what will work, less rigorous approaches can quickly rule out flawed assumptions, getting you closer to what might work more quickly and affordably. When there's more certainty and you have designed a program that you feel confident in, investing in rigorous impact evaluations can confirm whether you're achieving your intended outcomes. Whether you're trying to improve literacy, reduce infant mortality, or tackle malnutrition, using the right feedback at the right time, and embracing experimentation and learning at every step can help you achieve the impact you're looking for.